Bordeaux residents have fought against a landfill for years, and now in just a month, the dump will no longer accept construction debris from third parties. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen went to the landfill today to find out what's next. The majority of Nashville's home renovation debris and construction trash is dumped at WM Southern Services CND landfill off Briley Parkway. But it's almost full. So two years ago, we approached Metro with a plan for a modest expansion about 17 acres that would give us another 10 to 15 years of life. That proposal was denied by the Metro Solid Waste Board in March of 2021. Now they're fighting against it in court. In the meantime, they told landscapers and dumpster companies like Vivia that they can't dump their loads here starting September 1st. They think we're taking steps forward, you know, with this and to get recycling and all of this stuff. But we're actually going back when I moved here 23 years ago and got in this business where there were still dumping illegally. We still were digging a hole on the job site and burying it. The VIA president Philip Nappy says the nearest landfill that takes construction debris is roughly 40 miles away, so it will create a domino effect. They're going to have to kick out haulers at that transfer station, so it's just going to be um, Everybody's going to be scrambling. I, I, unfortunately, you're probably going to see some companies go out of business. You're probably going to see some contractors uh, projects slow down. Bordeaux residents don't want the landfill off Riley Parkway, according to State Representative Vincent Dixie. It's just a more of an opportunity for us to get out from under the thumb of being dumped on and being the place that holds Nashville garbage. They created a stink about it for years. Well, we're sorry that my community doesn't fit into your business model. So take your trash somewhere else, find another place to go. We don't want it anymore. Reporting in Asheville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. Now it's unclear where all that trash will go, so we reached out to the mayor's office and the waste board to see if they have a short-term solution. We've not received an update yet.